today you are going to create a portrait inspired by our featured artist, Chuck Close. Before starting this project, select a digital photo to work from. You may choose a photograph of yourself, a family member, or a celebrity, but it must be a real person. For this example, I am using a picture of myself. Using a pencil and blank paper, create a line drawing of yourself or whichever real person you chose to feature for this project. You may use your device as a light box to make this process easier for you. Make sure the brightness is up all the way on your device and consider sitting in a dark room while completing this step. Since this is a portrait, the photograph should depict a person from the shoulders up. Although you can start wherever you would like on the portrait, I recommend placing the hair and shape of the face first, then going in and adding all your specific facial features. If you are unsure about how to draw and find the lines of the eyes, nose, or mouth, refer back to the provided Google presentation. There you will find an additional tutorial video demonstrating how to specifically draw these facial features in greater detail. Once you have finished drawing in the eyes, nose, mouth, and additional details, don't forget to include the shoulders and clothing lines in the artwork. We don't want the head to look like it's just floating in space. Remove the paper from your device and touch up the image as needed. Using a black ultra fine tip Sharpie marker, carefully trace your line drawing. Erase away any remaining pencil cleaning up the image. Using a pencil, draw a grid on the entire paper. You may free draw this with a ruler, or you may use the provided grid template to help place your lines. In this example, you will see that I use both strategies. At first, I placed my artwork on the provided grid document using my device as a light box and putting my lines in the approximate location. Then. Once I was done with that, I removed the artwork from the device surface, took a ruler, and cleaned up my image. Whichever method you choose, please make sure the grid covers the entire artwork. Within each box, draw a shape or line with a pencil. Take your time with this step and make sure every box has something drawn in it. Color in your artwork using assorted markers and colored pencils. There are four different sections that need to be colored in. This includes the face, hair, shoulders, and finally the background. To keep things organized, Pick two colors to use exclusively in each of these sections. For example, I started with my face first, and the colors I decided to choose were orange and yellow. That means I will only be using orange and yellow on the face of my design. Notice how I am also using both colors in each box. This is the strategy you should use throughout the entire artwork. While filling in the face, be sure to exclude the eyes, eyebrows, and mouth, as those will be colored in later. This process can take some time, so please be patient Put forth your best effort and take breaks whenever needed.
select another section to start coloring. In this case, I chose to do my hair next. The two new colors I am choosing for this portion include blue and purple. Once you have completed the hair, please go back to the eyebrows and fill in using the same colors. So for example, I am using blue and purple on my eyebrows to match my hair color. Next, move on to another section. In this case, I am doing the shoulders. Picking two new colors, red and green, I'm using the same technique and filling in each box with both colors as I go. Fill in the last section. In my case, it's my background. Choosing two new colors, continue to use the same technique, blocking in the boxes with both colors as you go. To finish up the drawing, color in any remaining details. In my case, it's the eyelashes and mouth but you may also have things such as glasses or other details. Turn in your completed artwork to Artzonia under the project Chuck Close Portraits. Then mark the assignment as completed within Google Classroom.